Alright, man. <laughs> I just got out of church. Just got out of church. And... It was all fine. wasn't good. It was fine. I, I enjoyed the sermon and all that good stuff. But hey, man. Hey, just... Let's let's go with church etiquette right now. Let's let's go with that. If you bump someone in in the pew, okay, you know I gotta walk into the pews and you're walking in your pew. And there's a pew in front of you, and then there's the people that are sitting there on the pew that you're trying to get onto. When you bump someone on that pew in front of you in their head, and then you'll say nothing. Grinds my gears, man. Grinds my gears. Considering the fact that every time I go to church, I get at least seven bumps in my head. At least seven. And no one says anything. No one looks at me. No one says, my bad, I'm sorry, excuse me. None of that. None. None. Kids. Grown folks. I mean, no one. No one cares. That's just me. That's just my little petty habit that I, I, I apologize to people when I bump into them. Because clearly, for real, like... I don't think it would bother me as much if it was just, no, I'm lying. It bothers me. Nope. Especially because it's my hair. Especially because it's my hair. You think I don't feel that? Because it's not my skin, I don't feel it. Because you're not pulling on my clothes, I don't feel it. For real? Think I don't feel that? I felt that. I did. And then I felt it even more when you didn't say nothing. When you didn't acknowledge that you did it. You did it. I shouldn't have to tell you that you did it. You felt me because I felt you. Oh. <laughs> and I hate it. What? Bad back. I thoroughly dislike when your child going to sit down right by me in your lap and pull my hair. And all you going to do is when it happened, take your child's hand out my hair. For real. No apology. No telling the child that they shouldn't be pulling on a stranger's hair. Like, none of that. It's, it's just fine. It's fine. See, I, wear, I thought wearing my hair up would combat the issue of kids pulling on my hair. But then I have to worry about grown folks bumping into my head and not saying that. Y'all grown. 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 Got kids, you grown. And you can't say excuse me? Don't wonder why kids don't. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Don't go there. Don't wonder why kids ain't got no manners. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. They learned it from you. They watch you. You see, so you say one thing, but you do another. And actions speak louder. So, yeah. That's that's what they pick up on. Good job. Good job. Thanks. Like, at least seven bumps every time I go to church. And, you know, that probably shouldn't be such a big deal to me. But it is. It is. Because no one says excuse me. No one. No one. It doesn't have to be this big, big display of apology or anything. No, no. My bad will suffice. I'm sorry will suffice. Excuse me will suffice. Some type of acknowledgement that you bumped me. I have a lot of church stories, by the way. We're not going to get into all those right now, but, uh, yeah. But, um, how, how y'all doing? I'm... Got a few more weeks. <laughs> A few more weeks, man. Trying to, trying to hang in there. It's a beautiful day, though. It's absolutely gorgeous outside. I think I might go running in a day. Perhaps. But yeah, I just, I had to vent. Because <laughs> it happens every single time. Every single time. Without fail that I go to church. At least seven people bump into my head. And it's not even like my hair is all the way out here. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It ain't all the way out there. Mm-mm. It's just right here. It's just right here. Pretty close to my head. Pretty. See, no, no, no random sticking out. Mm-mm. It's all right there. It's all there. But no. Y'all think I don't feel it? You think what I have attached to my head is like fake or something and therefore I can't feel it? Though I have no nerve endings in my hair, I still feel you. When you touch my freaking hair, I feel it. It bothers me. I'm going to try to let that go today, but... Like this kid bumped into me. 
as she was leaving the pew and I turned around and I thought I literally sat there and thought about grabbing her wrist and telling her to say excuse me but then the parent sitting there that said nothing would have looked at me like I'm crazy because I'm touching their child but your child touched me I know I ain't got no right to touch nobody's child but your child need to have some kind of manners especially in church man if they ain't gonna do it in church they ain't gonna do it nowhere nowhere ugh ugh